Hello students, this is Anju Sharma, your social studies teacher. Today I am going to teach you chapter 1, Evolution of Mankind. First, I am going to read in this chapter, some quickies are given here. Number 1 is Evolution. The process by which different kinds of living organisms are thought to have developed and diversified from their earlier forms during the history of the earth. Second, prehistory relating to the period before written records. Number three, embed to fix an object firmly and deeply in a surrounding mass. Fourth is paleolithic relating to the early phase of the stone age. It lasted nearly 2.5 million years in this age, stone tools were made by humans. Number 5. Primitive, relating to an early stage. Number 6. Heart, the floor of a fireplace. Number 7. Pastoralism, grazing of sheep or cattle. Last, number 8. Archaic, very old. Now, I'll read first two paragraphs of this chapter. After that, I'll explain you these two paragraphs. Human evolution is the lengthy process of change. The change of ape-like ancestors to modern human beings is called the evolution of mankind. This evolution took over a period of approximately 6 million years. It is said that the first human-like creatures appeared on the earth's surface about 5.6 million years ago. MYA given in the bracket million years ago. One of the earliest defining human traits, the ability to walk on two legs, evolved over 4 million years ago. Other important human characteristics such as a large and complex brain the ability to make and use tools and the capacity for language developed more recently. However, modern human originated nearly 1,60,000 years ago. During this long period of human history, human beings got food by either gathering plant produce or hunting. Now, I will explain you these two paragraphs. Human evolution. Human evolution is the lengthy process of change. This evolution took over a period of approximately 6 million years ago. During this long period, men were hunters and lived like nomads. They were always traveling one place to another in search of food, water and shelter. The life of the early men was primitive one. Early men hunted wild animals and gathered nuts, fruits and seeds. They did not wear any clothes during summers and winters. They covered their body by skins of animals and barks of trees and leaves. They spent their nights on trees and used to live in caves. After several years of nomadic life, they used to settle to live in one place. This process started 10,000 years ago. Okay, now next paragraph I am going to read. Our understanding regarding early human history has become more precise with the discoveries of human fossils, bone, stone tools, cave painting, etc. In the beginning, Several scholars did not accept these fossils as the remains of early humans. In fact, over a period, over a period of time, the real importance of these discoveries was understood. Fossils are the remains or impressions of a prehistoric plant, animal or human which have changed into stone. Generally, these fossils are embedded in rock and remain preserved for million of years. Now I will explain you 
this what are fossils what are fossils i'll explain you first of all what are fossils it is given very briefly fossils are any evidence of past life or we can say remains or traces of past organism that have been preserved by nature once again i am going to read this fossils are any evidence or of past life or we can say remains or traces of past organism that have been preserved by nature now let us proceed to next paragraph the the story of human evolution is not only long but also very complicated due to new findings and researches it leads to a revision and modification on the basis of fossils human evolution can be classified as under number 1 homo habilis the tool makers number 2 homo erectus the upright man and third is homo sapiens the wise or thinking man to which all present day human beings belong belong now you see on the basis of fossils human evolution can be classified now i'll show you some pictures of evolution of mankind in this picture here they look apes and then they started walking erect first i'll explain you the word homo first i'll explain you the word homo the names of all human species begin with the word homo which means man the names of all human species begin with the word homo which means man now see homo habilis these early humans were one of the earliest member of the genus homo they had large brain teeth and they were they were known as tool maker because this species was thought to represent the first maker of stone after that homo erect later human species included homo erectus scientists believe that these humans used fire to cook food next is homo sapiens modern humans probably developed about 300000 years ago the scientific name of the species is homo sapiens many scientists believe that the first modern human evolved in africa and then spread through asia and europe i think this is clear to you now last paragraph i am going to read now last paragraph evidence sources evidences of sources or evidences of evolution of mankind tool making was possible due to greater memory and skills among early humans the earliest evidence shows that stone tool makers were both women and men during the paleolithic period primitive stone tools and equipments were made and used early humans began to use caves and open air sites to live approximately 400000 years ago archaeologists have found their evidence from sites in europe hundreds of paintings of bison horses deer rhinos lions panthers bears hyenas owls etc have been discovered in france and spain in some caves archaeologists found evidence of hearths and different food sources several other changes occurred due to farming and pastoralism example making of pots to store grains and other produce now i'll explain you evidence of mankind evidences of hunters of gatherers were found in many places
evidences of mankind evidences of hunters of gathers were found in many places their evidences were in the form of stone tools some were finished and some were unfinished a large number of tools were found during the evolution of mankind most of them were stones many paintings of horses deer rhinos owls etc were discovered in different countries okay i think children i think you have understood the chapter and let us proceed to the exercises first i am going to discuss few question answers match the following and true false first i am going to discuss question answers answer the following question 1 briefly write about the evolution of mankind answer the long process process of change from ape like ancestors to modern human beings is called the evolution of mankind answer again i am going to repeat the long process of change from ape like ancestors to modern human beings is called the evolution of mankind second question is when did the modern human originate answer is modern humans originated nearly 1 lakh 60000 years ago i am going to repeat once again this answer modern humans originated nearly 1 lakh 60000 years ago now question number 3 explain the term fossil fossils are answer fossils are the remains or impressions of a prehistoric plant animal or human which have changed into stone okay two question rest of the question i'll explain you afterwards now we'll come to match the following column a and column b first i'm going to read column a evolution of mankind is homo habilis homo erectus homo sapiens development of voice box <coughs> sorry column b a the tool maker b very complicated c the wise or thinking man d 200000 years ago and e the upright man now i am going to explain you will join column a with b number 1 evolution of mankind is very complicated evolution of mankind is very complicated number 2 homo habilis the tool maker homo habilis the tool maker number 3 homo erectus the upright man number 4 homo sapiens the wise or thinking man homo sapiens the wise or thinking man number 5 development of voice box 200000 years ago i think this is clear to you after that we will discuss true or false right wrong true false first sentence is the human sorry the first human like creatures appeared on the earth surface thousands years ago children this statement is wrong why because i had taught you that the first human like creatures appeared on the earth surface 5.6 million years ago that's why this statement is wrong clear now second one fossils are the remains of a prehistoric plant animal or human yes this is correct as i have taught you that fossils are the remains of a prehistoric plant animal or human number 3 fossils are embedded in clouds 
this sentence is wrong. Because as you know, I explained you in the chapter that fossils are embedded in rock and remain preserved for millions of years. Clear? Next one is Homo erects was the tool maker. This is also wrong. Because Homo habis were tool makers. Homo habis were Homo habis were tool maker, not Homo erects. Clear? Again, I am going to explain this. Homo erects was the tool maker. This is wrong. Because not Homo erects. Homo habis were tool makers. Number five and last. Early man had a large and complex brain. Yes, this is correct. In the beginning of this chapter, it is mentioned there that early man had a large and complex brain. This statement is correct. In the beginning of the chapter, it is mentioned that the early man had a large and complex brain. Now I think all this exercise also clear to you. But children, listen carefully. If you have new copy, you can do this work there only. But remember, if you don't have new copies, you can do this work in rough copy. This is how I conclude. Thank you.